What up guys, this is Sticky Fishy Fishing. In this episode, I head out to that rock there behind me and catch a few luderick. And I'm also gonna do a catch and cook with the fish that I caught. That was a very wet fishing trip out there. It's very dangerous out there fishing on them rocks. So if you're out there fishing on rocks like that, always be very, very careful. All right guys, check it out. Cheers. Yo, what up guys? This is Sticky Fishy Fishing. Just down here doing a bit of ludric fishing today. Just gonna get out there on that rock and see if we can pick a few up. Let's get out there. Get a bit of bait, there's plenty of bait here, that's a good thing about it. You can just get your bait while you're here. Fish on. Nice fish there guys, swallowed the hook. We might have to keep that one. Nice luderick there. First one of the day, I'll keep him alive and if I get some more I'll keep him, if not I'll let him go. I'll just put him in there for now. Just fishing a little size 8 hook. That one swallowed the hook so I had to cut it off. Just six pound fluorocarbon leader, Sunline FC rock. Sorry about the water on the lens, it's gonna be hard to keep it clean with the waves smashing up the rocks today. She's pretty wet out there. That's why I got the wetsuit on. But looks like the fish are on, so see how we go. See how we go. Just using a homemade float. Got a float stopper, homemade float, bit of fly screen, screen rubber, swivel, sinkers with fly screen rubber in amongst the sinkers. That stops them from banging the gather and closing the holes and snapping your line off. Then another swivel with about a metre or a six pound leader going down to the hook. Basic rig. All right, let's get back out there. There we go, another fish. Oh, he's a nice size one. Just hooked up another one. I thought I'd try on the side here. It's a bit easier to fish here. We got one.
Another nice Luderick. Dropped him. Dropped him like it's hot. Very wet rock today. Where's supposed to be this much swell? Oh, there's a boy. Oh, he let go of it. That went down like a rocket and came up just as quick. That's a fish. Yep, we're on. Oh. That went down so far. Get out of the rocks, mate. Get out of Oh, spat it again. Oh, I lost our hook. It's not good. Let's get back over there. Got me keeper bag, so I've got to keep coming back if I catch fish. Otherwise, I'll just get washed off this rock over here. So that's not good. Water crossing. Which bit of bait do I want? It's a hard choice out here <laughs> for this bait. That's the kind of bait there. I like the real crinkly kind of cabbage. Seems to work the best. Light green, crinkly stuff. Half hitch it around the top. Got a nice bait. Let's see if we can land one. We've caught one and lost two. Lost me um, ludric skills. It's been a while. That's nice water in there now to get one. Why the waves ain't coming. Eat it. Oh, that was cold. That was very cold. Dude, it's running hard. It's running like a river in here. You prefer, you, it's better when you got less current. So then you don't have to keep chucking it in and out. It sits there long enough to catch a fish. We've got one fish over there. If we can get one more, I'll be happy with that. And I'll do a catch and cook. Since it's a dodgy day, he's fishing. We should have had three, but that's fishing. At least get one more. That's four fillets. I'll do a catch and cook. Looks like we got some rain coming anyway. It's almost the bottom of the tide. So this should slow down a bit. Four o'clock low tide, so hopefully it slows down a touch where we can catch some fish. Oh, it's cold. Oh, we're on. I looked away because there was a wave coming. Looked back and had a fish. The float was gone. It's a good size one too. Hope this one stays on. Oh, no way! A 
Again, another one lost. What the hell is going on? Can't seem to keep a fish on me line. That's three fish I've lost now. I landed the first one a hook, and then I've just dropped three fish. Just having a bad day today. Very bad day. Can't keep a fish on the line. Whoa, having a wet day too, which doesn't make it any fun. Geez, I'm cold now. Even though I've got a wetsuit on. Glad I wore my wetsuit to tell you the truth. Otherwise it would have been a really cold day. Come on fish. They know they're going to get cooked up, that's why I can't land them. Any other time I just land them easy. As soon as I want to keep a fish, I just have troubles. A lot of trouble. Oh God. Jesus. It's freezing. Come on, we should get a fish there now, that's perfect. Sitting there in the prime zone. Go down. Take it. One more fish, that's all I want. So then I got two. Never struggled so hard to catch two fish in my life. Especially when there's fish there. Well, here comes the sets. Hurry up, fish. <laughs> Quick, before the waves come. Oh, there's another wet wave. Come on, there's got to be one in there. It's the only time it's been this still. I can see fish down there. Oh, my floats going past where they are. They're just down here. They seem to be hanging underneath that ledge down there. We should get one. Come on. At least I know that the fish are hanging here at the moment. So it's only really just a test mission. Oh, there we go. Oh, I missed him. Got to get one more. Usually I'll catch them in the front there, but there's that much sand stirring through there. It's so shallow at your feet. Usually it's deep all the way up to the rocks, and you don't get these waves splashing up and getting you as much. So I've got to fish over the side here. It's still wet, but it's a bit deeper and close. It's easier to fish. Must be bottom of the tide. Cause it's not running as hard. Oh, there we go, there's a bite. Yeah, we're on. Hopefully the hook stays in this time. Stay on. Stay on. Now don't go under there. He's trying to get me under the ledge. Good size one too. It's pulling. Oh, that was wet. This is terrible. Oh, look at the size of his set coming. Thank God. Oh, get out of there, mate. He looks to be done. Now we just got to get him up. Oh. Looks like we got this one. Oh, not yet. Oh, there we go. Nice fish. He swallowed the hook down, that's why we kept him on. 
But he's another keeper. <laughs> Let's get him over there. Since I'm wet, I might as well try to catch one more. I'm not going to get any wetter than what I am. Across oh, the water. Whoa. They're nice sized fish too, they're nice and fat. that right down. Oh, got it out. Took his tongue out, but we got him. Uh, we gotta keep him anyway. Put him in the pool. And there's his mate. Let's get back out there and get another. All right, back across to the rock. Oh, geez, it's freezing. Sometimes this is real deep, eh? Like up near Neck. It's pretty shallow t today. It's filled up with sand. Uh, so much bait. <sighs> Need to find a piece of that crinkly stuff. There's a bit. That light green crinkle bait. How I like to put it on is just extend it out, put the hook through one side, and turn it around back through the other side. Just like that, you don't need to put it on too much and then just make a half hitch, put around the top, so it looks as natural as can be. You don't want it just twisted on the hook heaps of times, it looks unnatural. You just want it just on there, so it's nice, natural looking. All right, one more now. One more fish. I was only gonna get two, but since I'm so wet, I might as well get three. Three's enough for a feed for me. Don't need to catch heaps. I'm gonna do a catch and cook with them, so three will be good. I'll fill it and skin them, and then I'll cook them up. It's good to know that they're biting here. I'll be able to come back and get some another day if I need to. Are we on? Oh, no. Nah. Just a wave bite. It's hard to tell sometimes when it's rippy because the rip pulls your float down, but if it stays down a bit, or you can actually see it right down deep, it's a good sign that you've got a fish. Unless you just see it shoot down, and you know you got one. We've got a nice piece of bait on, we should get one. Oh, shivering. It's cold now, the sun's gone. It was good before when the sun was out, at least there was a bit of heat, but now the sun's gone down, it's... Well, it hasn't gone down, it's just behind those clouds, it's freezing. Come on, it looks good in there, we should get another one. One more, make three fish. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's one at it. Yeah, he's got it. We're on. We're on. We land this one, we're out of here. Oh, oh, he's peeling. He's going for a run, he's a good sized fish, this one. Oh, come back this way, mate. They go over there. They go around that point, you're doomed. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, he's a nice fish, that one. Oh, you almost got me on the rocks. We've got him in the backwaters now. He's done. Unless he gets off. Hopefully he stays on.
Come on, buddy. Come over here. Jesus Christ, where's he going? Oh, no! Just lost him. Hook pulled on it. That was a big fella too. Spewing. Having the most unluckiest day. I've lost four fish and only caught two. Terrible day. All I wanted was that one more fish too. And he was a big one too. Had me right up there in the backwater and the hook pulled. Can't believe the hook pulled on her. I let him take the float down for so long. Now we're gonna to try to catch another one. <coughs> Come on, one more fish. We would have had six fish today. Not that I would have kept them all, but would have been leaving a lot earlier. Some dude out there surfing by himself. He's crazy, the mullet have been running. When the mullet run on this beach, there's usually sharks. I wouldn't be out there surfing. Not this time of the afternoon, just before dark, mullet run. Only person out there, bad news. Oh yeah, finally. Just when I was about to give up, because I was too cold, I've hooked up. Oh nice, just hope he stays on this time. Oh, he had me in the bottom. Come on, buddy. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, he's right up here. Good one too. Get up there. We got him. Oh, look at that. Oh, the line just snapped as I grabbed him. That's a fat one too. All right, got me three fish. Now I'm just going to try not to drop him while I go across here. And we're out of here. Oh, well, that was close, almost slipped straight over. <laughs> Lucky I didn't go for instincts and try grabbing something and held on to him. Oh, we made it. He's a nice fat fish, that one. Look at that. Absolute horse. Oh, look at the size of that one. He's a beauty. All right. Oh, that's cold. It's a cold fishing spot out there. Very cold. Just one thing too, guys. If you're ever fishing a rock like that, be very careful with them waves coming over. 
because it can be very dangerous. I've been fishing here a lot of years. I've got a lot of experience here at this spot, but I still got to be careful because it only takes one wave to sweep you off your feet and you'll be stuck in that rip there and you don't want to be stuck in that. So be very careful on the rocks, wet rocks, because it can be very, very dangerous. All right, I'm gonna clean these fish and head home. Here's a ludicrous I caught yesterday. Just gonna fill it up. These have been in the fridge overnight, so it makes it a lot easier to fill it. Just run the tip down the back spine, just like that. Just the tip of your knife, just to get a start. Then just hold the fill it up, scrape down. Fill it that last little bit of tail. Just go up over the rib cage like that. Once you get over the rib cage, just cut it down with your knife. Go. One nice fillet there. Just turn him over. Do the same thing. Just cut down behind the head, up behind that back fin. Tip of the knife in. There's sort of like a line that runs along the back there. Once you get the tip in that, it sort of just follows it along. Cage. You sort of don't have to go over a rib cage if you've already gutted them, but it takes a lot more to bone out, so he's cutting it out. There you go, another fillet. Feel any bones there? Cut that piece out. Gonna eat that part anyway. Run your knife along the back of it. Just like that. Almost fill it there. Turn it over. Cut the bloodline out of it. The bones, got the bones running down the centre, so just cut it straight down there like that. Gives you a nice fill it. Same thing for this one, just pin it with your fingers, with your knife, hold it on an angle, like that, so it's tight to the skin, hold the skin, just run it all the way through. Just like that, nice skinless fillet, and cut the bloodline out. Bones all in one go. Just like that. She's ready to go. Put the plate there, nice fillets. That's only free fish. Plenty there for a feed. That's all you need. Alright guys, now we've got the fish filleted. We'll 
little fillers up there. Always just gonna chop it up in little nugget sized pieces. Just like that. Just chop the fillet into four bits. Perfect little size bits. of this up and then I'll get back to you and show you what I'm going to do next. And then I'm going to just use some Ingham's chicken seasoned coat and mix. Just a coating, something different. It's nice on chicken, see how it goes on the fish. You buy this at Woolworths, it's only a dollar a packet. So I'll give it a go, see how it goes. Alright, let's put a bit on a plate. just heating up, got a bit of canona oil, you can use any kind of oil, whatever you like, this is all I've got at the moment, so just put a bit of that in, just going to shallow fry it, just cut the pan, bit of butter, put that in there, stops the oil from burning, There ready, a bit of paper towel to put it on when it's cooked. Let this heat up and then I'll start cooking her up. Alright, the oil's heated. Let's get some bits in there. Get this cooking. With this big pan we can put a fair few bits in at once. So process done a bit quicker. Start off with the cube bits first. Bigger bits. I've got the cube bits in there. They shouldn't take long to cook. Just whack it all in I think. Do it all at once. As you can see there, it's not taking long being little pieces. Just let them brown up a bit. Flip them over. Should only take a couple of minutes each side, probably not even that. Starting to look good. A couple of these bits are starting to pick up nice, so we'll flip them over. Good way to cook the fish up because small pieces like that cooks nice and even, quick. Right. Some of it's done, start whacking it on the plate. These first bits I put in. Seem to be done. Nicely cooked. There we go there guys. She's ready. Nice cooked up bits of fish. Looks good.
There we go, guys. Finished result. The salad, chips, fish. A bit of salt on the fish and chips. A little bit of white vinegar. Salad dressing, and salad. And there we go. She's ready to eat. That looks nice, very nice. It's been a while since I've had Luderick, and yeah, they taste real good. Came out real good with the chicken coating on it, nice and brown. So it should be good. All right, guys, I'm gonna have this for lunch, and we'll see you next time. Jeez. Okay guys, if you like that video, hit the like button, subscribe for more, also hit the little notification bell on my page if you want to get notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching, cheers.